Hey everyone, and welcome to a little bit of World of Tanks here. I don't want to really call it an episode, but I guess I'll turn it into one. Figured I'd give you kind of an update as to what's going on. My laptop's still giving me issues, and I'm going to end up RMAing it back to MSI for a second time here. So hopefully uh, they can resolve it this time, because it still does this whole nasty um, GPU you know, load dropping and everything else. So they're going to take a look at it. They're going to... Um, hopefully figure it out and send it back to me working, but we'll see. Because, yeah, it's uh, kind of made tanks unplayable. So I'm going to end up RMAing it, and I'm probably going to be out of pocket for, I don't know, a month or two again while it's out on service, but I will at least move my uh, desktop back in here and attempt to make that thing work for the most part, I guess, I suppose I can. So... We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and give that thing a shot and see what we can do with that. It's actually not, you know, the best of uh, circumstances or things to work with, but we'll make it work. So it's rare now that I'm actually getting a halfway decent game that's actually effective, which is actually, this is the first, only one that I've had in probably since the last time I recorded, because I've actually just, I can't play the game. It's very uh, unstable. So World of Tanks has actually been working with me very well. If you ever have problems, submit a ticket through uh, their website, and they actually get back to you, and they try everything under the sun. So I think we've determined that it's not the game, that it's definitely a, um, a computer issue. So if you ever have issues, definitely contact them. But anyway, so, playing um, this nice little battle here, it was kind of a slow feat, having to run as the, uh, the TD here, sitting in the long, you know, the long-range little battle here that I'm in, but I've really come to like this uh, AMX... 48. I think that once I upgraded to the Fosh and the 155, it's going to be actually a quite fantastic tank. It's, I mean, it's pretty bouncy for what it is right now. I'm surprised just how bouncy it is, to be honest with you. Normally you think that um, you could still penetrate this thing compared to the, the 46, which is not nearly as good as the 48, but this thing I've actually noticed can bounce quite a bit of rounds right off the front of it, no problem whatsoever. So I'm actually uh, pretty impressed with that fact, but it's um, still not exactly the best at bouncing. It obviously has its weak points. That little candy bar up top, the turret, and then the rear turret machine gun. All that are very easy to pin right through. And of course, if people aim low enough, they might be able to scrape it in through the bottom. But by and large, a lot of shells are just going to hit right off the front plating or the, uh, the tracks as long as you're facing dead on. You can give a little bit of angle to this thing, but you don't want to give too, too much. Because if you give too much of an angle, it means you're not going to be able to uh, really continue the battle as much. So, if, if and when I zoom out, you'll be able to see where they hit me. Most times, I'd say 9 times out of 10, if they're hitting you on the front, it's going to bounce. It really takes some work for them to actually aim and be able to hit that top area up there. As you can see, one went through the lower plate right there at the peak, or the, uh, the pike which was probably just a miraculous shot. But most of them are going to go right through those that back turret or the candy bar or anything like that. Not really going through the front very often. But anyway, so the team was starting to slough or uh, get hammered on the bottom south edge, so I decided I was going to go back there and help them, seeing as we kind of cleared out that north ice road area. One tank left, I figured I'd let other people deal with it. There isn't too too much down here in the south being able to defend so I figured that my uh, I was needed to come down here and help them out so rolling on down there probably the next best thing I can do TDs aren't meant to really go and attack unless I absolutely have to so I figured I'd come back and help defend even further and it's uh, two IS-6s I believe if not some more stuff yeah there we go IS-6s a 59 and a T-69 over there those were all nice juicy lovely targets for uh this thing to go after. Of course, IS-6s are very good at being bouncy, way beyond what they honestly should be. And so that's something that uh really got to place my time and aim well, because this thing does have the pin to go through them, no problems. It's just making sure that I aim properly and don't hit the shoulder plating where it's going to be a problem. So, it's two villain players as well, and villain players are very good. So, I have to aim right at that commander's, or that driver's hatch, which was exactly what I was doing there. And then it's all kind of guesswork when I don't have a direct line of sight. Still using the trees to my advantage here. This one I actually have to aim. And of course I, I think I bounced there. But I was trying to aim at that shoulder plate. Which 
Each of his facings you're gonna get a decent angle on, it's just if you're gonna somehow it skirt up a bit off of it or what's gonna happen. So an IS-6 takes a little bit more aiming than what you think it would. Of course I took a nice shot there which in theory should have hit but I'm sure I hit the dead tank in front of him instead. This time range again and I killed him that time. So now he just has his one uh, he actually ended up dying. So yeah all that's left is the 69 and then that's it. So sadly it doesn't actually show in my uh, aim in bar because this is the 8.10 replay on a 8.11 game. Otherwise you would have seen that that was actually a quick um, snapshot where I had him in full view but just didn't work out. So aiming back in for a final kill shot. Got it. And I'm getting three kills. Not a lot by typical standards but with the lag that I'm dealing with it's not bad. So anyway, let's go into an actual game. We'll play, uh, we'll play one on the 704 and then I'll probably wrap it up there. And, uh, yeah, not play too, too much because the, the frame rate dropping certainly is painful. Alright, so we're in a battle here. Oh, God, the frame rate. Um, against a crap ton of TDs. That is a lot. So, um, yeah, that's gonna make things interesting. But anyway, so, set a nice lovely spot right here and see if I can't pop anybody who makes one ill-fated move. But yeah, so... 8.11 is out now, so make sure you go and grab it. It's uh, actually just came out today. I'm not. I haven't really been following what's uh, what changes have been made because of the whole frustration with um, the frame rate issues and everything else. And I think that's going to be a trend even when I send out my laptop. When I get my move my desktop back into the office, I think it's going to be one of those. I'll play it on occasion, but it's not going to be a priority just because of um, the desktop it's not exactly the best either and I think that my mod pack is gonna sit by the wayside until I can get it all back and situated so it might be a little bit of a break but eh, we'll have to see what happens it's not gonna be the end of the world I will have other stuff coming out that's easier to record on the desktop of course I'll have a lot of stock footage recorded up this weekend before I send it out as for tanks though it might go on a bit of a hiatus you'll see the occasional video crop up when I uh, get to it from the from the laptop or I mean from the desktop rather. Oops. Anyway, so yeah, that's where I sit with that. Anywho, we have a lot of people in the wrong areas. I don't have anybody scouting in the center, but that's fine. There's still a crap ton of other people we gotta deal with. And it looks like there's no artillery, which is nice. But one of the downsides are that I have no... There's a lot of TDs. <laughs> An absolute lot of TDs. Man, I need to reset this so that I get that view instead of that view as the stock. That's not too hard to set up and do, but it's just something I keep forgetting about. Alright, so anyway. Oh, Tiger 2. Alright, Tiger 2, let's do this. Hell. You keep coming in and out of my view. Could almost hit you. Are you viewable... Uh, it's like I can barely keep seeing parts of him. Oh, now I can see him. Oh, I did hit him. Okay, excellent. Questioning that one for a second there, if that actually was going to be a viable shot. But I guess it was. <laughs> Go figure. Alright, sadly though, he's left with 46 hit points. Would have been beautiful if I actually, you know, got that extra 46 hit uh, damage in that shot. Alright, so I have no shot on this dude whatsoever. You can see me tracing all around where he is to see if there's any little bit. But I'm having to aim through tons of trees and everything else. So I think he is not a valid target for me to hit. Up in the north, we still have some problems with, um... There's a heavy up there. It looks like a TD as well. Alright, that Tiger 2 is killing some stuff dead. Oh, here we go. Here's another, another juicy target. That looks like it is a Tiger 2. So we'll range in there. I have no idea where that shell went because I uh, took a little bit of time there firing that shell. Hmm. So it looks like our north is pretty much collapsed. So I'm pretty much stuck back at base. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, I think I might have hit that. Mm, 500 damage? I don't know. Maybe. We'll, uh, we'll see here in just a second. See if I can't get another shot railed at him before it's too late. Ah, that one went way over his head. I know that for a fact. And it looks like we're going to lose the north, so i got to turn north here momentarily. Take one more shot at this guy if I get the opportunity. Come on. Long load time, isn't it? 
There we go. That one I know for a fact hit. But I know for a fact in the north we have lost everything. So I gotta turn north and take care of these guys here momentarily. Nope, didn't kill him. Alright, so uh, I'm so tempted to stay here and continue firing at these guys, but I know I need to watch north. What is left up here? 75? Yeah, I think it's 75. Alright, so me being the only one left at base. Crap. And they're all walking in. The problem is they're all walking into a wall of TDs, so I don't think that's really winnable. Just kind of a uh, stuck match there for them. And I don't have any of my mods to tell me where people were, what their health is at, or the damage, or anything like that. So, we'll just have to play it stock and... Hmm. It seems as though we have been whittled down to almost nobody left alive. Just me. And of course our two tanks down there. Uh, ISU and a IS-3. Great. Well... What to do? <laughs> well, poop. I guess uh, we wait for the inevitable fire death of the universe. That is, uh, that is what we can do. And it looks like uh, that guy's getting whittled down. I know for a fact that they're going to come through the south probably sooner than they'll come through the north. We can, of course, get a nice lovely position down here. Hope for the best. Hmm, I'm surprised no one's crashed up through the north yet. I guess they're all afraid of the uh, object, maybe? I doubt it. Really haven't done much in the way of, I've done enough damage here. Oh god, I'm the last one alive. I guess that- oh, we've only killed five people. We're so terrible. Well, I shall last not very long, I suppose. See what's even- what's even possible. Oh, man. What to do, what to do. Well, I guess I, like I said, I need to wait for the inevitable swarm that's going to come on me here. Where, oh, where is the rest of the team? I'm, I'm surprised no one's assaulted yet. I would have thought for a fact that I would have seen something. Um, well, there's a bunch of tanks. So, here goes my inevitable death. Great, there's a tank there I could kill. Or I could go for this guy, or that guy. Oh, great. This might hurt. Ooh! Yikes. Well, this might hurt. Oh, bounced him. Take another shot at him, see if it helps. Well, I don't think I can take another shot. Because I don't have the hit points. And there I go! I got blewed up, something fierce. Yeah, I did what I could there. There was not a whole heck of a lot I could do. But, sadly, oh well. Worth a try. Anyway, we will bounce into another tank and wrap it up there. You guys are getting kind of the, the hint of the experience I'm dealing with here in terms of the the lag and the frame rates and whatnot. Alright, let's try and give this another shot because I just played a game and Fraps didn't record the audio. So, yeah, I'm getting frustrated. Anyway, so... The T-62A, I actually decided to play it for once instead of letting it sit there and just look pretty in the garage. I actually have only played this tank, well, twice now. Once was uh, my first time and then the second time was um, the last game I was just in that Fraps decided not to record audio for. And yeah, uh, with the frame rate doing this whole dropping then jumping thing, it kind of uh, was a pretty crap game anyway. So, needless to say, the sad part is... I'm sitting here, the 30 frames a second is actually limited by my, um, by Fraps. I actually am limiting that on purpose, because that way it keeps it from, um, uh, something to do with video editing. It takes too long to explain. But yeah, so, I mean, it's, it's just so gosh darn frustrating that I can't seem to get, um, what can I say? It's, I just can't seem to get it to work properly. Everything I do seems to make the game not work well it's not just this game it's it's every game that i play i mean i've noticed it on all my games mech warrior shows it um crusader king shows it a little bit but not much i mean there's lots of problems with it and it's it's the laptop so 
Hopefully, when I send it out, it gets fixed, because I've tried everything under the sun possible. Gosh darn it, I'm getting fired upon, and I have no idea from where. There we go. Now I can see from where. Can I hit from where? No. No, I cannot. Well, if everyone gets in front of me, I certainly can't. <sighs> Alright, there we go. A little bit better. Sit right like this in this bush. Hopefully next time someone wants to come and play f funny, we can uh, catch them. Of course, we do have some issues up here that we got to deal with. Alright, so now we got this guy out here. Right in that nice, lovely dip. Arr. Good G player. <laughs> Playing that one perfectly. Of course, he killed off one of our uh, heavies, which was not a good thing. And we are starting to... Good job. Oh, man. Off to a great start already, aren't we? So that guy's behind the lines there. Can't touch them. Where is... We have these guys here. Hmm. Kind of stuck at the moment again. But yeah, so anyway. 62A, I mean, it's not the most optimal of the Soviet tanks. It's just the one that I was working on the most when it was available, so it's what I ended up getting. And I mean, it's it's a fun tank. It has a purpose in Clan Wars, because it's a very low-profile scout, almost. But, eh. I mean, I enjoy it. It's If it plays anything like the uh, T-54, I love it. And I know this is actually quite bouncy, so that makes it that much better in my mind. Especially since... Oh, great, I'm spotted. Especially since I just kind of, I don't know, like that type of a tank. Man... We can't spot anything? Really? Good grief. I'm just not having any luck. Also, the frame rate thing certainly is annoying. Well. Life is not going well over here in, uh. in Hill Land. Need to be a little more cautious or something. Also, I need my frame rate to stop dropping like it is so I can actually aim properly. Good grief, man. I can't get anything to properly work. So infuriating. <laughs> so yeah, you guys are going to have to forgive me if I take quite a bit of a um, downtime here to get my laptop fixed properly. Hopefully at some point in time, one of these days. But yeah, so... There we go. Watch out for the nice, lovely artillery. Or other things that are going to shoot me. Like all this. Ouch. There we go. I'm getting hit by everything under the sun and I'm not bouncing a damn thing. Oh, man. I'm just getting raffle stomped right now. There we go. Well, if I can not get killed for a few seconds, that'd be beautiful, but I don't think that's an option. And of course, if I were to do some sort of a YOLO jump on top of him, well, I don't think it'll work out too well with all these tanks right near me. Ah, crap. Should have zoomed in. Oh, well. That's, uh, I'm, yeah. Anyway, I, I'm going to have to wrap it up. This The frame rate issue is driving me insane. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully this gets fixed for me, this go around with the RMA, and I can get you guys back some videos. Um, look forward to some of my other content, and I guess I'll catch you guys in the next uh, episode or video. 